flows movement of energy energy can move in two dimensions if it moves in fight you are wasting it every day if it accumulates and there is no fight a moment comes just like when you go on heating water to a hundred degree celsius then the water becomes something else it evaporates then it is no more liquid it becomes a gas it is it will not become transformed at 99 degrees it will become transformed only at 100 degrees celsius the same happens inward you are wasting your energy every day and the evaporating point never comes it cannot come because energy is not accumulated at all once the inner light is not there inner conflict is no more once the inner fight is not there inner conflict is no more all energy goes on accumulating and you feel more and more strong as you feel it in so many ways that very often seeks seekers mention a feeling of expansion feeling of unexplainable joy and so on but not the ego the ego feels strong only when there is fighting when there is no fight the ego becomes important but you feel strong and that you is totally different thing seekers use the word i for this phenomena as well you cannot know about it unless you are whole ego exists with fragments divisions and this you the self i or what you we call the atman or soul exists only when there is no division no inner fight atman means the whole self means the undivided energy once this energy is undivided it goes on accumulating you are producing it every day life energy is produced in you but you are wasting it in fight the same energy comes to a point where it becomes awareness it is automatic tantra says this is automatic once you know how to be whole you will become more and more aware and the day will come when your total energy will be transformed into awareness when the energy is transformed into awareness many things happen because then the energy cannot move in sex when it can move to a higher dimensions it will not move to a lower dimension to move to sex you have to make conscious effort then and this conscious effort is as it generates is still deeper layers of energy and this conscious effort is as is generates is still deeper layers of energy and the process goes on as compared to earlier now your input of effort or energy in sex is minimal but the gain is unimaginably manifold your energy goes on moving to the lower dimensions because there is no higher for you and you do not have the level of energy where it can move into the higher so it goes on moving in sex it moves into sex and you become afraid of it so you create an ideal of celibacy and you become divided then you become less and less energetic you are wasting energy this is a very potent experience that 
when you are weak you feel more sexual this looks absolutely absurd in biological terms because biology will say that when you are more potent you will feel more sexual but this is not the case when you are weak ill disturbed within you will feel more sexual when you are healthy and a subtle well-being is there you will not feel so sexual and the quality of sex will also be different when you are weak the sexuality will be a sort of disease and a vicious circle will be created through sex you will become more weak and the weaker you become more sexual you will feel and the sex will become cerebral it will move into your head when you are healthy when a well being is there when you feel blissful relaxed you are not so sexual then even if sex happens it is not a disease rather it is an overflowing a totally different quality is there when sex is an overflowing it is just love expressing itself through bio energy it is creating a deep sharing it is like creating a deep sharing a deep contact through bio energy it is a part of love when you are weak and sex is not overflowing it is a violence against yourself and when it is a violence against yourself it can never it is never love a weak person can have sex but his sex is never love it is more or less rape and rape to both the parties to himself also it is a rape but then a vicious circle is created the more weak he feels the more sexual he feels but why does this happen biology has no explanation for it however tantra has an explanation tantra says that sex is an antidote against death sex is an antidote against death sex means life for society you may die but life will continue so whenever you feel weak and death is near tantra says that then sex will become very important because you may die any moment your energy layer has gone down you may die at any moment so indulge in sex so someone can live and life should go on for tantra old men are more sexual than the younger ones and this is this is a very deep insight young men are more sexually potent but not so sexual old men are less sexually potent but more sexual so if we can enter an old man's mind we can know what is happening as far as sex energy is concerned it is less in old men more in younger ones but as far as sexuality is concerned sexuality means thinking about sex it is more in old men than in young one death is coming near and sex is the antidote for death so now the weakening energy would like to produce someone life must continue 
life is not concerned with you instead life is concerned with itself this is the vicious circle and the same happens in the reverse order as well if you are overflowing with energy sex becomes less and less important and love becomes more and more important and then sex can happen just as part of love as a deep sharing the deepest sharing can be of bio energy because that is the life force so whomsoever you love you want to give something giving sharing is part of love in love you give things the greatest gift can be the greatest gift can be of the life energy of yourself in love sex becomes a deep gift of bio energy of of life you are giving a part of yourself really in every act of sex you are giving yourself totally then a different circle is created the more you feel love the more you become strong the more you feel love the more you share love then the more strong you become because in love the ego is dissolved in love you have to flow with life <coughs> you need not flow with life in politics rather you will be a fool if you flow with life in politics because there you have to force yourself against life only then you can rise in politics if you are doing business you will be a fool if you flow with life you will be nowhere because you have to fight you have to compete you have to be violent the more violent and the more mad the more you will succeed there it is a strange only in love there is no competition no fight no violence you succeed in love only when you surrender so love is the only anti worldly thing in the world and the only non worldly thing in the world as well and if you are in love you will become more a whole undivided and then more energy will be accumulated the more energy the less will be sexuality and a moment comes when the energy comes to a point where transformation happens energy becomes awareness sex disappears and only a loving kindness a compassion remains buddha has a glow of loving compassion this is sex energy transform but you cannot achieve it through fight because fight creates division and division makes you more sexual this is the insight of tantra absolutely different from whatsoever you may have been thinking about sex and celibacy only through tantra does a real celibacy a real purity and innocence happens but then it is not a result instead it is a consequence it follows total acceptance it follows total acceptance enough for now